Today's topic is rolled roofing. And what we're going to touch on today is the problem with rolled roofing. Now, this is a very uh, widely used product in our market on low sloped roofs. And in this particular case, uh, this is a small addition that was added to the back side of a home uh, that we're inspecting today for a first time home buyer. Now, what you'll find are some of the very common characteristics of aging and weathering. You'll see that the granular surface is uh, lifted or missing and in some cases we'll find that some of those seams are really starting to curl. Now on this particular roof the lower portion of it has um, a significant amount of deterioration present. Uh, this roof really is at the end of its lifespan and subsequently what has happened we have some soft spots and a small hole on our roof sheathing and that's one of the reasons we're inspecting this roof system today from our ladder because of these soft spots in the roof decking. Now to our client which is the buyer we will recommend that obviously new roof covering be installed as well as uh, replacement of one or two uh, sheets of OSB or plywood for our roof deck. One of the other recommendations in our report will be that they seek the advice of that roofing contractor for an alternative roofing covered or product and typically what we would hope to see here would be some type of a rubberized product or a rubberized membrane um, by doing so it will cost them a few extra dollars but what they're going to do is basically double the national average or the average lifespan uh, versus the rolled material lifespan which will ultimately give them greater peace of mind. Um, and if they follow our recommendations and the recommendations of a qualified roofing contractor, they will have no additional problems uh, with this roof system for many years to come.